So usually when I do these kinds of videos, it's to talk about uh, my own opinions or experiences or things like that. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's about a condition called chronic fatigue syndrome, which is also known as ME. I was asked to do this video by someone very close to me and very important to me as they found that people around them didn't really have an understanding of what this condition was. This condition that was affecting their life so heavily, so came to me and was like, hey, could you do a video about this condition uh, just to try and help help people understand what it is, how it how it affects people, um, just to just to help people's understanding of it because chronic fatigue syndrome is very is a very difficult condition to live with so the fact that if if people don't really understand what's going on um, then it can be very frustrating for the person in that situation so um, it, this this video will be mostly unedited so I will just be looking at this little help sheet with things on it um, so yeah first we'll start off with the causes of chronic fatigue. Uh, there is no definitive cause, but there's a lot of theories running around as to what causes it. So usually, like with certain conditions, there'll be different like triggers and sort of things like that. Um, basically, certain illnesses, like sort of uh, glandular fever, uh, pneumonia can cause CFS, um, immune, immune system problems, like if you've had previous immune conditions, uh, it can trigger chronic fatigue in later life. Um, mental health problems can also cause the likes of ME. Um, it's also quite prevalent if you have a family history of chronic fatigue syndrome. Um, so it's something that you very much have to be aware of if you've recently gone through any of these previous previous ordeals. Um, and once you get it, once you get it diagnosed, um, it's there's some treatments. There is not that many treatments. Uh, you can go through. Cognitive behavioral therapy. Uh, there is medication to help control the pain or the sleeping problems that you can have. Or there's also a structured exercise known as graded exercise therapy. Um, if you suffer from this condition but you are not seeking any of these three treatments, it is highly advisable that you do so because th this condition can really can really mess with you on a day to day basis. Now let's get to the symptoms of ME because the one of the biggest things that I've learned about ME and CFS, not from my own experience but from my friend's experience, is the fact that these things can happen at any time. It doesn't matter where you are, doesn't matter what's going on, they can hit you and they hit you like a freight train. They can just completely wipe you out and slow you down. So let's just go over quickly some of the symptoms of ME slash CFS. So sleep problems. So even if you say, hey, I'm struggling with sleep, and you're just like, well, go to bed earlier. That doesn't really help. Uh, muscle or joint pain. I've been told that when this happens, it is just consistent. It's just chronic, consistent pain, and it is very frustrating and very hard to deal with. Headaches, again, relating to the pain, just quite chronic and quite consistent. Um, sore throat or sore glands, uh, again, probably relating to the glandular fever I mentioned is uh, one of the triggers of CFS. Problems with thinking and concentration, so having quite a, um, being quite stressful mentally as well. Um, Flu-like symptoms, feeling dizzy or sick, and faster or regular heartbeats. Now, these are all very difficult symptoms to deal with. Yes, there is medication for them, but they can really affect you on a day-to-day -day basis. And in those kinds of situations, they don't happen all the time. So you generally, most people would just try to live their life as best they can. The problem is, is that these symptoms can happen out of nowhere. And when they happen out of nowhere, they hit you and they hit hard. So if you know someone with chronic fatigue syndrome slash ME, the best thing that you can do was two things you can do. Be patient, be understanding. This condition, while affecting millions of people worldwide, doesn't seem to have doesn't seem to be as well known as some other conditions. Therefore, people don't necessarily have that much of an understanding of it. I personally didn't have that much of an understanding of it until fairly recently. So uh, yeah, if you know someone with CFS or ME, please be patient with them. They don't 
intent they're not intentionally in this pain they haven't done anything to themselves they're just they're just stuck with this and it is very frustrating and very painful for them so please be patient please be kind if you if you yourself are suffering from chronic fatigue syndrome slash me and you don't feel like you have anyone to talk to there is a group of people called the me association um, a charity that provides information, support, and practical advice for people affected by the condition. And I have just read that off the help sheet. Um, there is a local support group. Uh, I will link to their website down in the description. So I hope that you found this video informative and useful. So yeah, take care of yourself.